Hello there. So welcome back to this course. And as usual, I'll start this video with a simple quote from author M. David Merrill. And he said, with the growing popularity in e-learning, it occurred to me that the E should mean more than electronic. If we are going to call it e-learning, shouldn't it, shouldn't it be effective, efficient, and engaging? So he's trying to redefine what e-learning is all about because e-learning sometimes is um, equals gadgets or making use of online tools, which is not necessarily true. E-learning, more than just making use of gadgets, of the internet, e, the E in e-learning should also mean effective, efficient, and engaging which is also a challenge for us as teachers we need to learn how to make use of all of these online tools that we have at our disposal in order to become better teachers okay so in this video we'll talk about the learning module development approaches so before we discuss those approaches Let's define what a learning module is. So it is an organized collection of content presented together. So it supports a course goal, a course objective, a subject, a concept, or a theme. So think about a learning module as a shell or a container to which other content items such as files, folders, and tools are added so it's it's basically a, a packet a container where you add all of the things that the um, particular student need to learn or the tools that they need to use in order to learn about the specific subject or to develop a certain skill or competency in that target area so that's basically a learning module. And there are two approaches to learning module development. The first one is what we're quite um, used to, which is the structured learning module development. So this is where instructors set a structured path through the content items using a storyboard or a set of dependencies. So it's it's um, there's a logical progression. So... Uh, this means that in a structured approach, understanding is important. So it's the first concept that needs to be done before you could proceed to a more advanced concept. So that's structured. So an example of which is what we did in our previous course, which we're in. Um, we presented the concept of online teaching first. Then we proceeded to describe how online tools work. So we first defined what online teaching is so that the participant would have some form of idea about online teaching before we talk about the tools needed in order for you to be uh, teaching online. So that's a structured approach to learning module development. So the second approach is what we call as unstructured learning module development approach. This is where instructors allow students to explore the content in a learning module in any order and at their own pace. So you just present to the learner a series of content and the learner picks whatever he or she wants to learn about. So that's what you call as unstructured approach. So here's an example so a learning module can present a series of images and descriptions of various animals in a genus. So the students can view the images and descriptions in any order as no order is required for understanding the whole. So there are some subjects like this one in biology whereby you could try to go, we could, you could start anywhere but You'll, at the end of the course, you'll be able to grasp the entire concept. So 
that's an unstructured approach to learning module development so i'll end it i'll end our uh, discussion here and in the next video we'll start talking about the different type of content that forms part of a learning module see you in the next video Thank you.